Welcome to Families in Faith. This week, let's look at worship and bringing children to church. If you're a parent of young children, you know this can be a stressful experience. If you are a parent of elementary age children, you may wonder how to get your kids to engage in the worship experience. If you are the parents of teenagers, you may wonder how to keep them interested and connected to the worshiping body of Christ. Let's start with babies and toddlers. There is debate on whether to bring babies and toddlers into church with mom and dad. Let's face it, young children like this tend to squirm, wiggle, giggle, talk, cry, and even throw temper tantrums right when the church is praying. Most churches offer nursery care so young ones can be safe and secure while mom and dad go to worship. I think God delights when babies and toddlers are in church, even when they are loud and disruptive. That's because worship is what we do for God. We worship Him, and God loves little children. Jesus says in Luke 18, 16, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. And my favorite connection is from Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. The crowds were calling out praises to Jesus. When the Pharisees tried to tell Jesus to make the people be quiet, Jesus replies, in Luke 19.40, I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. Well, if God can receive praise from a rock, then certainly the cries, giggles, and noises your children make in worship are music to his ears. Romans 12.1 says, Therefore I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Well, how does a baby or toddler worship God? Not like an adult who sits and stands at the right moment, reads and sings along. No, a baby worships like a baby, with cries and giggles and by presence, offering their body as a spiritual act of worship. Parents, of course, facilitate this by bringing their babies and toddlers to worship. Deuteronomy 31, verses 12 and 13 says, Assemble the people, men, women, and children, and the aliens living in your towns, so they can listen and learn to fear the Lord your God and follow carefully all the words of this law. Their children who do not know this law must hear it and learn to fear the Lord your God as long as you live in the land you are crossing the Jordan to possess. Straight from God, we are to bring children to worship so that they can listen and learn. As your child grows and matures, start thinking about ways to engage them in the worship service. A good way to start is by helping them memorize portions of the service that are spoken each week. Teach your child the Lord's Prayer or the Apostles' Creed. Help them say it out loud with the congregation. This is an excellent way to begin to connect with the worship service. Practice at home the components of worship, then point them out to your children in the worship experience. Try teaching them about the invocation or confession and absolution. Teach them about the sermon, the Bible readings, Holy Communion and Baptism. Do this slowly over time, adding a new component every so often. Then see if they can find the new section in the worship experience. As your child learns to read, encourage them to read along with the congregation and to sing the songs. Finally, around middle school, start training your child to listen to the sermon. Teach them how to take notes by listening for key points or ideas. Connect together on the drive home from church by asking them what they learned or what part of the service was their favorite part. Good questions can lead to good conversations. There are, of course, other ideas for how to engage children in worship. Where you sit in church can play a part. The front allows children to see better and thus engage, while the back makes quick exits easier for mom and dad. Activities for children to do during the sermon is often important. 20 to 30 minutes is a long time for a child to sit in silence. Take advantage of your church's resources like children's bulletins with coloring pages or church bags with little activities to keep their minds busy. After the sermon, work to re-engage them into the service. Modeling is a key part of worship as well. Our kids look to us to see how we participate in worship. Do we read loudly? Do we sing with gusto? Kids don't care how good we are singing. God doesn't care how good we are either. But kids do care if we are singing. Have you ever considered your mood? 
your facial expressions, or your attitude. All of these are contagious with our children. They will learn to regard worship by watching us. Finally, consider the worship experience from before you ever leave the house until after you return home. The devil doesn't like families worshiping God, so it seems he works extra hard to make life difficult at home and in the car on the way to church. You ever notice how easy it is to lose your temper with your kids as you try to get them out the door to church? If your kids misbehave at church, how do you treat them and their behavior after worship? Do you practice the love and forgiveness that was preached, or are you worried about how we appear to other people? Our goal is to teach our children to worship God with all their bodies, minds, and souls, to learn to love worship and look forward to Sundays as a joyous family time. Create connection points, teach the various components of worship, and mark each Sunday with a special family time. All for God's glory and His praise.